Hello friends. For this woman, the desire to be a mother remained a dream. After a difficult year when her attempts to get pregnant were unsuccessful, she and her husband David went on vacation to Nicaragua. There they wanted to think about their next steps. While on vacation, they continued their search for a solution to the problem by asking friends for advice. One of these friends, a priest, calmly replied. Someone out there has big plans for you. I don't know what it is, but it will be great. After the Nicaraguan vacation, the couple returned to Texas, and Lauren forgot about the priest's words. The couple decided to undergo artificial insemination. And Lauren got pregnant. Already at the first examination, the level of chorionic gonadotropin was too high, which is an indicator of a multiple pregnancy. The couple were happy at the thought of having two or possibly three children. They had dreamed of a child for so long that they considered it a reward. Based on the ultrasound results, the doctor suggested that the children were five. While Lauren was in shock, the doctor took another look and said he was wrong. The babies were six. Yeah yeah yeah, you're not gonna believe this. Six amazing babies. It's a miracle, folks. The stunned parents stared at the screen. Six kids at once. Dear viewers, please pause this video. You got it? Thank you. And now please write in the comments below this video. How many children would you like to have? And if not, why not? Honestly. Thank you in advance for your sincere answers. It will be very interesting to read them. Thank you again, and we'll continue. Doctors explained that with artificial insemination, the odds of all the babies being born alive and healthy are incredibly low. Lauren and David had to make a difficult decision. They keep all six or get rid of a few fetuses. They deliberated for a long time, but in the end the couple decided to give all six babies a chance. The doctors promised to do everything possible to make sure all the babies were safe. The entire hospital team spared no expense and effort to make the pregnancy and delivery a success. The babies were born prematurely, in the 30th week. On April 23, 2012, 35 staff members gathered in the maternity ward. The entire nursing staff, as well as the parents themselves, were excited about the upcoming labor. But the labor went quickly. In just four minutes, Levi, Allison, Leah, Andrew, Benjamin and Caroline were born. Each baby weighed less than one pound. The mom was immediately shown her babies and allowed to touch their toes. For several weeks the babies were in the hospital under the supervision of doctors. Gradually their condition stabilized. Four months later, five of them were with their parents. Only little Leah had to spend a few more weeks in the hospital because her brain had not had time to develop enough in the womb. Lauren thanked the doctors for the happiness of becoming a mother. Relatives, friends, and even strangers helped the large family both physically, with advice, and financially. Recently, these unique children celebrated their 11th birthday. Lauren says it was especially difficult to organize the twins' care during the first year. She calls their lives semi-controlled chaos. Five of the six are perfectly healthy. Only Leah is still dependent on her parents' care. Although the girl already attends preschool with her siblings. The girl attends a special institution for children with disabilities, but Leah passes all tests 100%. The girl is very sociable, laughs a lot, and her parents call her Sunny. To all six children good health, happiness, and boundless love. And parents strength, prosperity, and many many happy family days. May they all be fine. What do you think about it? Be sure to share your opinion in the comments below this video. Friends, support the channel by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episodes on the channel, my dear viewers.